Dean, you must be pleased to end the season's away uh, campaign with a win. Yeah, delighted. Delighted for our supporters. Um, showed us another support today. was amazing. And you know, I really got behind the lads. And look, we had difficult moments within the game. Um, first half, I didn't think we were at our best. Um, and our supporters drove us forward. We managed to score either side of the half. And I thought we should, just, should have seen the game out a little bit more easier than what we did. Um, so, But look, I was happy with the performance, happy with the win. And uh, you can pick the bones out of it. It's difficult to win away games in this division. What sort of impact do you feel like the, uh, the timings of our goals had? Obviously, just uh, one either side of the break. Yeah, huge. Huge. Our first attempt on target was in the 25th minute of the first half, which I was disappointed and frustrated with. And I felt we could get down the sides of the sort of their two uh, centre backs, the wide centre backs. They play very brave. Um, they play a very expansive formation. And I thought Efron could get down the sides of them and Powley. Um, it's just not as good as they have been for us, them two. Uh, they're better than what they've shown today. Um, but in the end, Pauli managed to get a goal. Efron managed to get as a penalty. So that was sort of the game plan was to keep feeding them. But uh, like I say, it's very difficult to win in this, in this division away from home. So we're pleased. Do you feel like it took us a while to get going and, and that was down to uh, maybe being an end-of-season game in the, in the first sort of, 20 minutes? Not really. We've got our own goals. We, f- four games ago, I said to you, we want to go and beat him the rest of the season. So we've won two and drew two. Played some good teams within that. Um, you know, no doubt the Weymouth players are playing for their future with their manager with Dave so um, so yeah there's a lot to play for and someone's always watching and that's, that was the message I get from the players there's always somebody watching whether you're going to be at Barnet Football Club next year or you're not uh, there's always somebody watching so you have your own personal pride as well so but in the end I thought we, were, we should have won much more comfortable than what we did um, a bit frustrated to concede from a corner but look you can pick the bounds out of it today is about togetherness supporters are fantastic we gave them something to cheer about again so um, it's a great victory for us what was your take on our two goals this afternoon yeah for us one's good play it was good pass and move to get the penalty uh, I think we had about 10-12 passes managed to switch it from one side the other got uh, Efron isolated against, against the wide centre back and uh, he's obviously skinned them and the lads stripped them and took them down and then the next one's the same kind of scenario got down the sides asked Pauli at half time can he get on the far post can he complete runs into the six yard box and he did he's got something to happen so uh, it worked really the game plan so and that really is their weakness you can get down the sides of them not being disrespectful of them that's their weakness down the sides of their centre backs and that was sort of the game plan to work Special mention to, to head to uh, Teddy Howe as well he kept, kept his composure after the first half instant to go and set up uh, Pauli's uh, goal in the second half Yeah I thought Scott the referee made a very sensible decision he showed a lot of he sees experienced referee um, with that incident just before half time where a lot went on and to be fair to him um, I thought he managed that situation excellently he refed it really well um, and he gave, out, he gave out a couple of bookings so uh, it was good to see actually that was good to see and then obviously Teddy was a little bit lapse of concentration he got involved in a bit of a scuffle but he's got to learn f- from them kind of scenarios you know he's got to learn you hold on maybe the next tackle you have to be pushed on my get him in a tackle you know what I mean so he's just got to be a little bit more streetwise but Teddy's done well to be fair to him um, he's come in at left back and he's done well the last three or four games he's played for us so because it's been a tough time for Teddy um, he sort of joined us tr- through a really tough period um, so yeah so I'm delighted for Teddy he's a good kid he's honest he's fair and he's gave his all again today and that's all we can ask Is it frustrating we've, we've only got one game left of the season now we're starting to pick up a bit of form Listen, it is what it is we are in the position we are over the whole season for whatever reason that is um, some positive some negative um, we've had, it's been you know, pigs and troughs really uh, in different stages and it is like this in this division ask the teams that have gone for the playoffs ask Chesterfield ask Grimsby today how they've gone it's a tough division it's probably the toughest to get out of um, there's not three automatic promotions and then another four teams in the playoffs this is a really hard hard division to get out of so from our point of view we, we some good uh, building the blocks we've got decent structure in place now uh, a little bit of stability which will, which will help and like I said to you last week I've got a massive summer ahead in the recruitment department so hopefully we can attract the right players and the, uh, bring the right DNA to our football club you, you said we've got a massive summer ahead of us and Adam out scored his 19th goal this season so have you got any news uh, on, on the deal maybe with him? look we're in negotiations with his agent so this is the way it goes this is the business Adam will do what's best for himself and his family that's the way it is he's been exceptional for us it's a player you know, that we identified that was out of contract last year and you know, managed to get into the football club. So we're deep in negotiations, but at the end of the day, Adam will have a lot of people after him. We're not stupid. Um, so hopefully he'll stay with us. Um, good kid, he's got a good agent, so Adam has to do what's best for him. So we will do what's best for us. Um, so yeah, look, we're down, we're down the line with it, but like I say, it'll be his decision. Given us our, our final way trip of the season, have you had some time to reflect on uh, which one's perhaps been your, your favourite? Any standouts from uh, from the season gone by? 
Um, I haven't really thought about stuff for that. But being honest, I'm a big believer, you know, just learning from yesterday and living for today, you know, sort of look forward to tomorrow. That's the way I am. I've always been that way. Like this will just be we'll debrief the game. I'll watch it on the way back. And after that, we're just looking to Bromley and that's it. Got a lot of games to scout this week, a lot of playoff games. Uh, there's a couple of games, under 23 games, lads, have been released, uh, exhibition games and stuff like that. So a lot, a lot of football to watch over the next couple of weeks. And just finally, I know you'd like to thank the uh, the sports uh, personally um, for their fantastic support away from home this season. They've been brilliant, you know, um, and I hope, you know, they can sort of see where we're going in the right direction. Um, And they've stuck with us, to be fair to them. I know there's been some tough times. We've had had five or six really difficult situations with heavy defeats. Um, And we've had a lot of injuries. Like I said, I've never seen anything like two concussions and all this kind of jazz. So very frustrating, Um, but they've been brilliant. Um, And to be fair to us, I think we've done okay. Uh, not exactly where we want to be, uh, but I think we've done okay. And there has been some tough days, but you know, days like today, you sort of think to yourself, you know what? It's not bad. You know, we, we wouldn't want to ch- change it way before we were positioned there. Then no disrespect to them, but their supporters, yeah, we've got a lot of diehard supporters at our football club. Been here a long time. They've, they've seen what it takes to get out of this division. They're not stupid. They're not, they're not silly football fans. They're very sensible. So uh, hopefully they'll stick with us. And uh, our job is to make sure, or well, my job is to make sure, I give my team to be proud of.